so today I have a tutorial on this makeup look you see right here and this is using all drugstore products oh my gosh I cannot believe I finally did it every single thing on my face is from the drugstore oh so yeah it's kind of a soft grungy makeup tutorial and I got these little kitty ears um, I really just have them on to get my hair out of the way to do my makeup but I like them so I kept them in but yeah if you guys want to see how to get this makeup look then please keep watching and I think I'm gonna start off with brows and finally I got a new uh, Milani brow kit. I don't think I'm gonna use the very tiny brush in here because it's just like too hard. So I'm gonna use this e.l.f. angled brush and yeah just start at the end and brush back. So I'm mostly just using the uh, darker one now. Alright now I'm gonna go in with the Maybelline Brow Precise Pencil and just try to fill in any of the gaps that I have that the powder couldn't cover. Now I'm going to take this Wet n Wild Concealer in the shade Light Medium Beige and I'm just going to carve out my brows. It's really neat how you can literally use this applicator if you're careful. I'm just going to use my finger. I don't really care. One less brush dirty. I'm going to set my whole lid with this concealer. This concealer is really nice. I think this concealer is like a dollar or two. I don't know. I'll list everything below for you guys. But I'm going to set my lids just to make sure with this Better Skin Powder. And this is an e.l.f. small tapered brush that I'm setting it with. Just super quick. The palette that I'm going to be using doesn't really have like a transition shade, so I'm going to use a little bit of this Jordana Bronzer in Dark 03 and just use that as my transition for my eyeshadow. So I'm going to go in with my Sigma E35 and <laughs> um, yeah, you know the drill. So I mentioned in another video that it's like really important for you to hold your blending brushes or anytime you're doing eyeshadow at the end because if you hold it too close it's going to give you like too much control over the brush if that makes sense and it's much easier to blend if you hold the brush at the bottom. Jacqueline Hill taught me that. I want to do something like summer bronzy slash smoky. Maybe this will be like a summer night out makeup tutorial. It's kind of weird to use your own name in your type of makeup tutorial, but not to be biased, but summer makeup is my favorite makeup. So as you can see, I've got a hefty transition in there. And it doesn't matter if there's fallout because we can just wipe it off because we don't have face makeup on yet. So I'm going to take this Sigma E40 that's actually clean and just go over the edges of the transition. This is going to give us like the most perfect, smooth transition on this eye look. I'm actually going to use this eyeshadow palette I just got and it's the Rimmel um, Magnifies Shadow um, and this palette is Grunge Glamour. Ooh, perfect for what I'm wearing. I'm going to use my Sigma E25 and grab this brown Ratcha. Just darken up right here. This is very gray. Kind of like to like pat and then swirl it in when there's like less product. I am definitely going to need to go back and blend this out. This eyeshadow is pigmented, which is obviously a pretty good thing for the price. I think this palette was like around five dollars, so that's pretty sweet. That bigger blending brush in my transition, just blend everything out. There are some pretty shimmers in this palette. I think I'm going to grab this one, my finger. Ooh, pretty. I don't know if you guys can see that. And I'm just going to pat it on my eyelid. Ooh, this is darker than I anticipated. That is okay. Alright, so now I think I'm going to take a little bit of this yellowy one and just go like right over it. I'm kind of going to pack it on like closer to the inner part of the eye. Alright, I think I'm going to go back in with my um, Sigma E35 and grab a little bit more dark these two and just darken right here kind of turn your brush up 
and go in at like an angle. All right, cleaned up, nice and clean. Now this has been like my favorite like pen liner lately, and it's the Essence Long Lasting Eye Pencil. Just going to do a line on the top. And I'm very much aware that you're not really supposed to do like tug your eyelid, but it just, it helps me. I don't know, I'm in the habit. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and do the other eye. <sighs> my back has hurting, been hurting so bad whenever I film because I actually found out that I have a kidney stone or what they think is a kidney stone. I'm getting a lot of tests done and stuff, but anyways, um, it just hurts so much to sit up straight and film and <sighs> it's so painful, but worth it for you guys, worth it. But you guys, this is my favorite freaking mascara, like nothing compares, nothing. Nothing. You know of something that compares that's more expensive? Don't tell me about it because I probably can't afford it. So this is the um, CoverGirl Lash Blast Mascara. Whenever you get like a product that you've had forever and then you use it again after a long time and you have like the new version, then you're like, this is how this was always supposed to work. Alright, so my favorite go-to lashes are the Ardell 105s, and I just buy the whole giant big pack because I'm going to wear them all anyways, and these are all that I use for when I do clients most of the time because they're just pretty much good for like every look and like almost every eye shape, so yeah. They have like such a thin band, so they're so easy to put on, like literally takes me like a second. Alright, cool, so my eyelashes are on, so now they're just like drying, I think. Yeah. For primer, I'm going to be using the Maybelline Master Prime. And I use like a lot on my pores because, I don't know, they've just been bad. And of course I have this giant, or not giant, this very red blemish right here and it's driving me crazy. Good to go. Alright. Now I'm going to use, oh my god, I'm so excited for this, Wet n Wild Photo Finish Foundation. Or fo the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation. And my body is a lot tanner than my face right now, and so it's kind of hard to find a good match. I did self tan before I started filming this, so yeah, that could become an issue. But I'm just gonna like check. I think this has like a spatula. Oh, <gasps> yeah, so pumped. I think this is perfect for like the color of my body. So yeah, this is the shade um, Desert Beige. It's obviously a lot darker in my face but I don't want to use like too much let's see if that's enough well let me do chin I feel like I used a lot you guys are probably stressed out about it all right and I'm using this coastal Sense like flat foundation brush I've just been using this all the time because it's so much faster than the beauty blender and I can just like go back over with the beauty blender if I really need to and yeah anyways I'm gonna blend this out oh my god yes this is so nice it's not like too thick like holy crap literally this foundation is like four dollars for the whole bottle four dollars and it totally matches my body now like look at that perfect desert beige i am the desert totally been doing ear makeup since like kyle did my makeup in that video way back and then like i realized that it actually makes sense to do ear makeup because if you're self-tanned then your like your ears don't match your yeah no but it totally makes sense, so thanks babe for that tip. Now I'm gonna go on with that concealer I use to set my eyes, and it's also wet and wild. And do like so. Oh my god, I'm so like excited about this foundation. Like, And it made my skin look really good. Like, you guys saw how much I used. I'm digging these cat ears, y'all. You, if you know me, you know that I'm literally obsessed with cat. Everything cat. Everyone and their mom buys me cat stuff because they know that the obsession is real. Yeah, literally when I use this brush, I like don't even have to look. Oh my god, I like don't even have to set my face. Like it already looks so nice. How is this real life? I don't even know. I just bought this foundation in like all colors for my clients because I heard that, you know, it's affordable, works good. So I'm going to do a little contour. And I've been really liking to use a dark concealer and it kind of like bronze slash contours that makes sense because it just stays so much better than using powder contour like when i use powder contour and like say like a mist hits me 
or like my eye waters and there's like a streak when I do this it's just so much better so this is the better skin concealer in the shade deep and yeah I'm just doing my cheeks do dots around my head my nose with just like the babyest amount of product and jaw blend that out with that same brush literally so easy I've not even used a beauty blender at all so much faster and this um came in my 22 piece makeup kit it's literally like one of the first makeup kits you get when like you start doing makeup if you don't then you're crazy because it literally works so good to start out and I know that um this probably looks kind of dark right now but when I go over my whole face and just set with like a regular powder it looks really good for my nose um, I'm just gonna use this Sigma large fluff and like But I'm just going to take um, the Wet n Wild. I bought so much Wet n Wild. I literally love them, you guys. Um, this Wet n Wild contouring palette. And I'm going to set my under eyes with this yellow shade. Mmm. Me likey. So, yeah, I'm just kind of dusting this all over my face while my boyfriend sounds like he's, like, breaking my kitchen. I'm just going to take, like, a big fluffy brush. And this Better Skin Powder and Warm Nude, you guys know I like this. And just like kind of dust over my whole face and like pat it in. Just to set that contour in. Now for blush, I'm going to take the um, Light Blush Palette by e.l.f. And I'm going to take this like little one in the corner. You guys know I really love this blush. Okay, so I got this little um, Lisa Frank brush in my Ipsy, and like, look at it, it's so cute. Like, I feel like I'm nine again, and I'm so excited about it. So yeah, I'm just going to take it and dump it in this, and just brush the old cheekers. And this is like the perfect blush I find for like my skin tone, because it's very warm, it has like, it's apricot-y, and it goes well with like olive skin. I don't know what I'm saying. It's kind of bronzy too. I just love it. Um, I'm gonna use this highlighting palette I got at Bell's Outlet. Literally $4.99. Like such a good deal. And it comes with all these shades in it and it looks really pretty. <sighs> Apparently I have to open it with the Jaws of Life. Cool. <gasps> but yeah, look at that you guys. So there. All right, so I'm gonna use this Sonia Kashuk. Uh, fan brush, you guys know I like this, and I'm just gonna like mix the gold and the light peachy one, maybe. Okay, that was anticlimactic. Let's really just brush it. Okay, so it's it's subtle. It's really pretty though. It's like blending on my skin really nicely. That might be because like the foundation's really nice though. Okay, not so subtle. You just gotta like work with it, and I'm just gonna like throw this on my brow bone. I don't feel like getting another brush. And I am going to take a smaller brush to put a little bit the inner corner. And I'm missing, mixing those same two shades. I'm going to take my Rimmel uh, palette and then this tiny other Coastal Sense brush and I'm just going to run it through this brown. Just lightly on the lower lash line. Alright, I think I'm going to use... Hmm, should I go pink or this color? I kind of like this color. So this is Java by Wet n Wild. Alright, so I think I'm just going to highlight my body a little bit with that highlight kit. Okay. Did I do this shoulder? No. Did it? Okay, so now I'm just going to set my face wherever the hell my setting spray is. I'm going to be using the Maybelline Master Fix Face Studio Air Boosting Setting Spray. Alright you guys, so this is the final look. 
I hope you guys like it. Please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and turn on the bell notification for more videos. And thank you so much for watching. Have a great day. Bye guys. Love you.